And we are going to walk you guys through this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's All do right. It. Let's have some fun. All right. Turn it this way. That, that's not right. Sorry, everybody. I'm not sure what's going on here. How about we try that? There we go. Now we'll see. You should see a counter and stuff up there. This is just one, like, half of the show. So, you ready? Oh, yeah. You can talk and you just won't be able to hear you very well. You're going to follow me. All right. So right now we're over in the Toyota area. This is a, I we got a Toyota Trail Hunter. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go over here and let's take a look at this Toyota Crown. Here it is. New car for Toyota. They kind of brought the Crown name back, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like 340 horsepower, 2.4 turbo hybrid engine. Looks really nice. I really like the color. The red color looks really cool. And these, these wheels are really nice. I don't even see those. Those are nice. I like those. Look inside. It looks good. Pretty interesting. You know, see how the see how the room is in the back of this. I'll slide in there real quick. Go. Got a lot of room, that's cool. Got some chargers here in the back too. Folds down, some cup holders, pretty nice. Yeah, this is this is nice. Uh, materials all feel good in there too, that's good. Come around to the front of the car and we'll take a Look at this. I like this paint scheme. It's really cool. What do you think, honey? It's really gorgeous. It is I really like nice. It. It, it's really, um, I think this will really stick out with this color scheme. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. It's got a little bit of the BZ4X look to the front of it, but just a little uh, more aerodynamic, I think. I could drive that. Could you drive that? Yes. I think, <laughs> I think so. Well, I, so All right, let's continue on walking through here. And you can just pan at some cars as we walk through. The Toyota Corolla GR, little hot hatch. We'll just keep walking, just like like that, and I'll point it. I'll point at some cars and show you guys some that might be interesting, something new and odd. Here's a Corolla rally car. Well, look at that thing over there. It's a old, looks like an old retro Toyota, even though it's probably not. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All nice patina up. That's the Toyota Supra right there, and that, that blue one. Yeah, that paint is really cool. I like that. Another Corolla GR. Go over here. Yeah. So this is really close to what the uh, Nimbus looks like. 
this iRoad. Um, the Nimbus is one of those that I think is really cool that I would love to drive back and forth to work. Uh, but I think it's just a little bit wider than this one. But it's really similar. It's pretty cool, three wheels. I like that. And then we got this. I saw this, I think, something similar to this last year. It's pretty cool. Remember what it's called, the LQ. Not sure of that. I bet that's pretty aerodynamic, though. And then we got a few little other mobility things back there. Cool. Look at that interior. I know, it's awesome. Yeah, the gold isn't my favorite, but I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's move on through Toyota. One of our mics were are down, so Felicia doesn't have a mic on right now, but we will get her mic'd up here probably in a few in a little bit as soon as that gets charged up. Just some specialty is a Toyota Highlander. Let's go through here. There's a couple other Highlanders. Here's a Toyota Venza. And then here's the new Toyota Prius. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think this Prius is uh, really aerodynamic. It looks really cool. It's really, the, you know, the front is really sloped, so it gives a lot of air to, to go up over the car. This is a plug-in hybrid. Yeah, not sure why they didn't just make the Prius an electric, but they decided to stick with the plug-in hybrid. Uh, but it is pretty cool. I like the way that they've uh, changed the design on this. I think the front front is pretty cool. I mean, you can you no know, no bugs are probably going to stick to the whole front of that car. You know, you're not gonna have bugs on your windshield or anything because they're just gonna go right up over the top of it. So, so go take a look around the front end. Kind of pan around this one. It's really nice. I like the silver and the black. It looks really cool. Uh, we've got a special Toyota, looks like Tacoma, all done up for our military veterans. Back here's a Toyota Tundra chassis. Not sure how many people are interested in that, but there you go. That's what the Toyota Tundra chassis looks like. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's right right here. This right here is basically what's underneath this truck right here. Anything on it? It seems like it's way too long. Yeah, whenever there's not something covering it, anything, it always seems bigger than what it is. Yeah, it yeah. looks really long. Yeah, so. But here's what it is. Yeah, it's just this Toyota Tundra right here. So, going around here, Toyota's got a... Um, ride along thing that you can go through um kind of show off what their trucks can do what do we got there yeah look at the minivan it's still a minivan yeah that, that green really is nice i think it's a it's the high i think it's a hybrid Let's see if it's a hybrid. Uh, it just says Sienna. So, but starting at 41.5, that's pretty good. Actually, you can get it. Actually, it starts at 36 for the lowest trim. Yeah, Here you go, family people. Yeah, here's this the. This is for you. <laughs> And I, and I, if I, I don't have five kids, but I love minivans. Yeah. 
And this is a good one. I know a lot of people that have these. Is this electric? I, it There's doesn't. No it doesn't say. Well, that's what I was thinking what because it, it's blue. Let me look on the back here. We got all-wheel drive. It's a hybrid. It is a hybrid. I thought it was a hybrid because it had uh, blue around the Toyota logo. So. You have all that space under there. Oh yeah, you got space underneath there. Yeah. Good eye, Felicia. All right. I don't know for sure. We're gonna check. We'll check on that mic real quick and see how much charge we've got on it. You guys, I want to talk. Oh, you want to talk to them? Oh, you you got them. Oh, I had a side thing. What is everything? Nothing. Okay? You're fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're just looking. So I'm checking the mic real quick to see if we can get Felicia fired up or not. Okay, I think we can. Okay. okay. Hopefully you guys can hear Felicia now. Should be able to. Oh, we got six people on today. All right. Hi, everybody. We're so excited to be here. I have been coming to the Chicago Auto Show for years and I really love it. It's so much fun. Do, do you want to, let me let turn on the chat so you can see if anybody's, Yeah. see if we can turn the chat on. Who do we got here? Tim Oliver. Oh, from Scotland. Hi. Wow, awesome. Hi, that's great. You get to see some of the cars that you guys don't get to see. Yeah. That's what I always like watching some of the other car shows from other countries so I can get to see those Just cars. Just to walk around. Like, we want cool. you guys to feel like you're here, you know? We yeah. don't go too much in depth into each car on this video, but yeah. we just want you to experience it with us. Yeah, just so you guys kind of see what, what happens over here at, what, at these auto shows. This north this is one of the North America's largest auto shows. We're going to walk down here. Here you can see where Toyota... Hi, Nikki. <laughs> oh, Robin from Philly. Over here you can see where uh, Toyota's doing their little dry ride along. I show them what their Fun. vehicles can do. We might do some of those, not in this video maybe, but we'll get you guys all hooked up with everything we can get. Yeah. This is cool. Are we coming back around? Yeah, we're going to swing back okay. around here. Um, we're just going to walk down here just to show um, Ram has their trucks going through a similar thing, thing. You can do a ride along with those. Isn't this place amazing? How many stories is this, you think? Story? I, I don't maybe, know. It's like four levels, I think. Four. But uh, they've got this thing set up with roads and hills and yep. all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is the Ram area. Here's a Ram TRX. Wow. In yellow. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I love the um, lights under the hood scoop. Oh, yeah, that's that's, cool. that's that's really awesome. I just like the way that this the body tapers in and then comes back out around. Yeah, let me get back. this from the side. Yeah, you see it, it yeah, comes in and it gets how, out, it comes yeah. way back out around the side. It's That's awesome. pretty cool. It gives it that I mean, stance, you know, like. Yeah, I it's like it's that. so much that this, the gas tank is at an angle yeah. on the side of the bed. Yeah. That's cool. Um, we'll have to come around and, you know, TRX has all those Easter eggs. Oh yeah. Well, they got another ram up there on the on the stands. Oh yeah, we can another probably tier. look under it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here's another ram. There's a diesel <laughs> coming. <Sorry. laughs> yeah, you guys want to see? Underneath? Oh, Ga Gage Man would like this one, I think. Oh yeah. Yep, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. Those side toolboxes are amazing. You guys want to look underneath the, the Ram TRX? Wow, 
Wow. I keep pushing the tilt the wrong way, everybody. I'm sorry. Trying my best here. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like up underneath here. That, this is cool, but not like as crazy as that chassis. Oh, yeah. Around with nothing right. like that. Oh, here's one of those uh, split tailgates. These are pretty oh, cool. Oh, yeah. So, let you open it. I want to see. If I can figure out how to open it. Well, that goes this way. So, there's a. Is it powered? Let's see. Maybe I got to drop it all the way down. Those guys sitting in the truck probably know. <laughs> okay. So, that goes. Is there different buttons under there? I don't feel different buttons, but I'm not sure how this works. Maybe it's from up in here. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have somebody have to show me how to do that because I have not used one of those before. Have you seen them? Does one side open? Like, can you just open like this right, right side and yeah, slide something in or? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to, this is supposed to come open and you can just open one side. You don't have to open both sides. Okay. Pretty cool. There's Gage's truck again. Yeah. All scooped up and everything. There's a Charger. Or Challenger, sorry. A Dodge Challenger. Oh, the Charger wow. over there. Look this how is sweet. beautiful this is. I love, did you see these wheels? Look at, look at these wheels. Look out, the paint scheme on the top is crazy. Look, out, look how far they... Look at the top of this thing. That? Yeah, it's like a cheetah print on top. You always go all out for these, you know? Wow, that looks comfy, actually. Yeah. It looks pretty good. I could travel in that. Yeah, that would be a fun ride. These are actually one of my favorite cars. I love how they look like the old muscle cars. Yeah. Beautiful. Got a What's this King, one? King Daytona. This is a Wildcat. This is a Charger. Um, it's a, I don't know which one this one is. It has a cat on the side of it, but yeah, it's a. This is an SRT. SRT Charger Red Eye Wide Body. Hey, Gage and Dusty. This looks like this would be like the uh, sort of modern paint shade for a. Um, Duke's a hazard car. Yeah, right. But look at that orange. It's cool. Okay, so the next thing we've got coming up is the new electric charger. All right. So here it is, <gasps> the Banshee. Oh the my Banshee gosh, electric it's so charger. cool. This is the one that they uh, use speakers and put the sound of the exhaust on the outside of the car. They use speakers and put the sound of the exhaust in, in it? Yeah, so you can hear it outside the car. Oh, outside as well. Yeah, there's Some speakers cars, underneath. Some uh, cars pump, pump it into the interior speakers, I know. Yeah, and this is their new logo. Well, it's actually an old logo that they are revitalizing for this car. That's cool. And this is the last year of all the gas... Um, Chargers and Challengers and everything. They're done. No they're more all gas. Going, they're going, all going Challengers electric. and Chargers. I actually wish you guys could see this paint in real life. It's not uh, um, as bright as it looks on yeah, this camera kind of screen. Looks like on, our, on our screen, it looks like it's a little you know, pinkish, but it's not. It it's is actually not. dark it red. It is gorgeous. It's like a cherry red. Yeah, dark cherry. Like a black cherry almost. Can it, we can't even get the... Uh, it doesn't have a shimmer, but it's not matte. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's really, really gorgeous. Oh my God. So this one is going to run on the 800 volt system, which means that it should be able to charge up to 350 kilowatts. And uh, so they're calling this an SRT Hellcat. The, the performance yeah, and the a sound of a, of a Hellcat. Yeah. Uh, well, this is actually the Banshee logo. So this is a Banshee. Oh, okay. Um, but it, bad. but they based it off of the Hellcat um, performance. We got so a few more people sure. picking up. 
All right. Hello, hello, everybody. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Can you get into the end? Can you show the interior? Can you get close enough? Um, or you want me to do the it? The windows are just really dark. Yeah. Well, no, you can see it. Yeah, sorry for the reflection there, but you can kind of see Hello. the interior. Oh, look at the steering wheels even lit up with the SRT logo. Wow. I like how there's no um, like mid bar really there. Yeah. It's just a, it's probably just a, well, a door edge, like just I mean, a really slim. Take the bucket for a seats second. in the back. There's buckets in the back. Look at that. They're exactly the same as the front. Yeah, that's what I was going to show. If we can get in there, you can see there's buckets and it goes right into the back. I don't know. It's really hard. It's reflection, but there's bucket seats in the back. You guys will have to shoot us a message if, like, one of our mics gets funny. Right. But, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Hello, Kevin. Oh, and here, what do we got? Oh, this is the Dodge Hornet. Oh, the so, Hornet yes. is a new electric vehicle um, I think Dodge. it's a, a hybrid. Oh, is this the plug-in yes, hybrid? It, it's, it does a hybrid or a gas. You have your choice. Tell us about it, Jim. And I am going to tell you some information about it. So the price starts on this at 30500 There's going to be uh, two trims. Uh, that'll be the GT and it will be all-wheel drive with a 2.0 liter turbo, get 268 horsepower, 295 torque, and there's an RT hybrid, and that is going to have 285 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds, get about 30 miles of electric only on it, and there are several different options, including an track pack that you can get 20 inch wheels uh, dual stage suspension and brembo brakes which is apparently what they this one is here so that is what you're looking at i'm not honestly they were looking at the floor for a second because uh -oh. i lost control <laughs> oh i can just manually yeah, if you need to move, if you need to adjust it, you can adjust it. Sorry, everybody. We're using a gimbal for the first time, so <laughs> it's kind of well, trying I, to I, figure I, it out. But all right, what do we got over here? Oh, here's the that. So this one is the RT that we are looking at right now, and behind me is the GT. What's this logo about? I forget. That's the Hornet. Oh, it's the little Hornet. Can I yeah. zoom? You should. It's pretty cool. It's I like I like how they've done the logo on that. See so if you can go move over here to the right, maybe get a little less uh, glare on that logo. There you go. Maybe oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Look how cool that is. It's a stinging ya. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, so that one is the RT, and over here is the GT. So, a little less flashy. But I really love this color. To me, this looks like the back end of a, a Cayenne, Porsche Cayenne. It does look I, I don't just know. like a Cayenne back there, you're right. I mean, I may be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, it looks like here. I've got that covered. Um, this one we can probably, yeah, we can look at the interior. We have not given up on Fisker, you guys. Um, have we just not had any calls for a week or two? Yeah, we just, I just haven't been on for the last couple of weeks. Last night we had to get ready for the show, yeah. get do some prep oh, yeah, work and pack and everything. Night. Yeah. And the previous week before that, I had a lot of stuff that I needed to you, get done. You guys so missed me on Fisker already, we'll right? Be, uh, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back on there. We haven't given up on Fisker. No, we're um, pretty excited to see where we, it goes. Yep. So. Is uh, there gonna be one here today? No, probably not. Oh, there man. probably will not be one here. Um, we probably won't be in the shows, but. Here's a little bit more information. You can actually pull that, look at that. You got a top speed of 140 and zero to 60, 6.5 seconds. And 30, starting out at 30,000 miles. What a great price. And 268 horsepower. So 
So this, this will have the two liter turbo four cylinder, not a hybrid. This is not a hybrid. No. It's just regular. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Show them the interior real quick. Oh, look at that stitching. You guys know how I love. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Felicia's an artist, so she's going to show you guys uh, some of that stuff. Yeah, you'll, you'll know when I'm behind the camera. I love this. And this has the two, um, the marks and the headrests with the two, these. Oh yeah. That logo, which is kind of new think. for them. Hi. Y'all fine. <laughs> <laughs> and these things, you learn to work around people. Yeah. Right? Well, that's what we're trying. We're about so there's here. back here. Of course, we, we the seat looks like the front seat's really far back. So it's, front seat's really far back. Um, yeah, it looks course, like you have enough headroom and stuff, though. Yeah, the headroom's good. good. I'm six foot, so if this was actually in a position normal with somebody in front, there probably would be a little bit more room. Looks like the driver's side's probably got a little bit more room on it. But we're just gonna run through live and have fun, and then That's and then maybe do some work after that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you around to the driver's side. Got to show have you fun. what the instrument panel looks like. Well, we can pop. Let's see if this will pop. I don't know if it's powered or not. I really love this color. Isn't this color awesome? It's an interesting color. Yeah. There we go. I feel like places are veering towards not like a mat, but like a I don't know. So flat. we're gonna do the gym test on these cars. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, so, I pop out of uh, frunks. So yeah, only, so here's the gym frunks. test. Like standard um, crossover size. like. Yeah, it's not overly big, yeah. but you should have plenty of room. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's pretty deep. Let it go through to the front. This is a pass-through right here, oh, and these nice. do fold down. That's nice for so, the kids, you guys, when you're traveling. So you should you should have you shouldn't have any problem getting a couple suitcases oh, down no. in there. But. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah. Oh, look at the color of that minivan. Woo. Okay, so we're gonna show them the you know the driver just real quick so they can kind of see Check out the doors what it looks like on this side, and then we'll move on because walk around and show the front of the car, and then we'll uh, move on. Pretty cool. Looks comfy. These seats are like suede. Uh, I can't remember what that material is called right now, but does the chat keep, chat keep popping down and falling down? Just doesn't stay uh -huh. up there. Yeah. Uh, if I click on it, it'll come back up. Oh, I didn't know it didn't stay up there. All the time. Oh, so thanks, okay. Kevin. <laughs> so the front. There's the front, and you can probably see the front of both cars now. I want to show now. these vents. These are cool like it like it like it yeah i'm not sure that they're functional well yeah they actually they are look like functional. they are they are functional yeah so and there, there cool. you can see the little uh little two line like new logo they've got yeah and there's a the front of the the other one we were looking at from far away it looks awesome all right you guys enjoyed seeing the hornet um it looks like it's dot and chrysler these are chrysler pacificas it's i want to show the i Gosh darn it, I wish this showed yeah. the actual color. It doesn't show the color This real is well. actually like a, um, a, a in teal? Yeah, it's like a really, really dark teal. Like teal with a little bit of dark blue and amazing. It's not sparkle, but it's metallic slightly. It's beautiful. Okay. Sorry, I'm distracted. No, you're fine, so. I'm always distracted by the family cars. Yeah, though. I know. So yeah, they, the Chrysler still makes the Pacific. Of course, there's you know there's not very many mini. A lot of people anymore. are putting the storage underneath in front now. Are they? This is an electric, is it? Um, it is all-wheel drive. I do not see anywhere where it says hybrid or electric, but the Pacificas they do have a hybrid Pacifica. Kevin, I wish we were near you so that we could also get cars from you that would be a fun little partnership right check this out did you say it was a hybrid babe? No, no i i this one doesn't show that it's hybrid that they do make a hybrid pacifica so gorgeous people seats. are interested in that lots of room in the back yeah this thing's great. and it, it looks like they're still they're still away they're still away seats so they go they, down. oh i just noticed they've got these awesome screens on the back we can uh, we can get in the TRX now. What? 
We can check out the TRX now. We're going to check that out, definitely. Let's go. All right, let's go check out this TRX real quick. So, of course, we know that Felicia likes the big, bulky trucks. Truck girl through and through. I'm so weird because I love trucks, but I also love electric cars. Oh, the you can, yellow accent yeah. stitching on this one. I wonder if they do that with the paint. Do we have a light, scheme? babe, that we can turn on? I'm not dark in here. I meant on the camera, but this is fine. You guys get it. Look at that huge back see. seat. Oh my gosh. You can fit three Felicias back there. Or a gym. Or a gym. Or five gyms. Maybe you could take a nap in here later. Uh, on the back, back here, they have heated and ventilated seats in the back. What? There are two USB-C and two USB-A plugs back here. Let me come look. I'm coming to look. Oh, look at how much room he yeah, has. Yeah, look at this. I love trucks. <laughs> so this amazing. is crazy. This is huge. So and amazing. these seats are very, very comfortable back here, which is crazy. Uh, Mike wants to know, oh no, do you have a Pacifica hybrid or do you want to know if they have one here? Let us know. But and yeah, we'll, this is we'll... this is huge. You want to get up in there, Felicia? Sure. I got my big camera bag thing. If I can lift it. Oh, we can fit like five of me back here. You know, that's a really convenient place for that handle that you just used to get up in there. I mean, yeah, you just have those in the back. no. You just naturally grabbed it and got yeah. up in there. That is awesome. Cool. Way to go, Dodge. Oh wow! Look at the. They've got all these little doohickeys on the seat. I'm afraid I'm covering my mic. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, really awesome. Heated and cooled back seat. Definitely taking yes. a nap back here later, for sure. Yeah, this is like exactly where it needs to be. Cool. Are you done in there? Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get up in the back here and show you guys the front so you can see that a little oh, bit Oh, okay. So we'll get up inside here. Hopefully it's focus all right. There you guys can see the... Sorry, the door's dinging. I guess they got a key or something in here, but you see how big that screen is and everything. Let me shut Pretty this cool. door. There's, there's the dinging. is gone. Goodness. Uh, So we just saw up under a TRX. And now you guys got to now see. Now you get to see inside. The TRX. Did you feel how comfortable those back seats yeah, are? They are I'm, nice and soft. That's what I'm saying. Like take a nap if you're hot, if you're cold. It's whatever. Yeah. There's a uh, Chrysler 300C. Is my mic still on? Yep. I'll take you're it. You're still good. All right, Felicia is going to man the camera again. Woman. Or woman, the camera. Again. Wow, <laughs> my own husband. Okay, so we—they're getting ready to take. They're taking some pictures here, so we're gonna wait till they get done before we go walk. Have we through. got everything on this little X section? Yeah, we'll—we're gonna go through Ford down here. Okay. And then swing back. Let's see who else we got on here. All right, so here is the new Nissan Z. Nissan. The Nissan Z, you remember it used to be the Nissan ZX, the 300 ZX, the 280 ZX, and was originally owned by Datsun, which I had a 78 Datsun 280Z when a I was- 78? How old are you, Jim Perry? Never mind, don't worry about how old oh, I am. Guys, seriously. Oh yeah. This is a car very that I would like, really like to test drive. This very is really like cool. retro in its yes. design. It's, it's it really is. cool. It is, it's really still similar to the 350Z. Uh, what on earth Z. is going on? So the ba there is no back seat. No. And, and it just has this like little storage, yep. like carved out back there. Yeah, Look these, at the, these those cars, seats are blue. Look at that. These cars were always uh, just two seaters. Oh. I had a 280, 78280Z. And I had a 300ZX, 86 300ZX. Babe, can you pull up a conversation? I think somebody said we were being buggy. We, we probably are. We it, It's just signal. 
Oh, okay, Mike. Got yeah, it. sorry guys. If we are, it's it's just because we don't have the. Uh, we have a decent decent uh, signal, but it may get a little choppy here and there. It's hard telling. Yeah, uh, is it, Mike? Is it just us that's choppy, or, or is the video not coming through like you want? Because I want you guys to experience this with us, so we'll do our best. Yeah, let us know us if it's our audio that's choppy or if it's the video. Okay, that went offline. Yep. I saw that. Sorry, it should probably, we should be okay now. Oh um, my! Yeah, so here's another another one actually. You know what? When wow. we like when we post this after we do this live, yeah. maybe we can do some color adjustments so these look more like they yeah. do in real life. I, I don't. I don't. I can't. Is it'll automatically upload live? I can't do. I can't oh, do any okay, video okay. editing. Um, but guess what? Am I coming in? I think we can get in this one. This is this color is really is amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, doors are open. Doors are open. So this one's got kind of like an orange in it, actually. Oh, there you can see it up up on that glare. Really yeah. cool. Jim's getting in over here. I am almost too old to get in here, but very comfortable once you do get in these seats are like wrapped around you i'm gonna come around the back and meet you on that side um it's this got a nice little short. gear shifter in the middle oh my bow stereo system so yeah i mean this is this is really comfortable um I need different to back knobs. Up, but i can't yeah there's not much <laughs> um but it's just got a little shifter right here to put you in gear, so it is automatic, um, which is kind of cool. And it looks like a garage door opener or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool though. And its start stop button is like right here, so it's oh, not like up underneath here somewhere. That's pretty cool. Steering wheel is kind of small steering wheel, which is good because it's a small car. But yeah, this is nice. Yeah, like you get a video in there. Oh gosh, see how old I am. I can't Whoa. get out of there. Whoa. We're gonna Do have you to want go. to try to get in there? I have all this stuff I'm okay. holding. Get a picture of that back. So at least you have like access to it or whatever. But yeah, it's, it's a decent size back there. I mean, you could... Travel know. somewhere with your suitcase anyway. Can we, can we pop the hood? I have no idea. Apparently, if we can't, somebody will come tell us to not do that. Yeah. I'm going with that too. This color is so amazing. I love car shows because they always bring out the bring the best ones, you know. V6 twin tur twin turbo V6. I'm, I'm not positive, but I'm guessing that this probably puts out around close to 400 horsepower. Wow, pretty that's cool. pretty cool. Oh, I was coming in. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> get you a little bit closer. Felicia wanted to get a close up. I don't know what y'all want to see, but yeah, just get all of it in there for you. <laughs> all right. So what we've got coming up next is well we're gonna have to skip it for right now because we got a bunch of people there we're gonna look at a um, nissan aria here as soon as some other people get done I looking at it i thought i had a poof on my it's, microphone it's in the bag somewhere oh. i couldn't dig it out he um, said the audio is what's buggy so i did take my vest off so maybe that helps but. no i lost my little mine off mine it fell off somewhere oh no okay um this is go. like a champagne color again yeah that this, I can't really express and from far away it has a slight pinky peach yeah it's, it's more like look. a copper it's kind of like a copper well from far away when we came in oh, the yeah. way the light was on it it had a pink oh uh, okay to it. yeah so it might be because some of the red lights that are up there might have something to do with that yeah. which, um, which copper has to have yeah. some pink and red so but this is the Nissan Aria it um is this a plug-in hybrid no this is a full electric okay so this uh, reminds me a lot of our ID4, a lot actually, and in the shape, don't I, you think? 
I do have some info. So, all right, cool. This Nissan Aria, it is going to start out at around forty-three thousand. I'm going to walk around, all right. Um, it gets three hundred and four miles of range with the front wheel drive. Three hundred. That's awesome. Yeah, with front wheel, with front wheel drive. Now the it has five trims, and I'm not going to name all them off, but you can get multiple configurations with this. You get two hundred and fourteen horsepower. There you can see how it looks a little pink. The uh, front wheel drive with the 304 miles of range only has 214 horsepower because it's just got one electric motor, but the all wheel drive has 389 horsepower and gets about 270 miles of range and zero to 60 in about 4.8 seconds. There you can tell it's a little pink. And then you got 130 kilowatt max charging. There's two battery options. You get a 63 kilowatt hour battery, and that get, you can charge that 10 to 80 percent in about 35 minutes. And then the 87 kilowatt hour battery will give you 10 to 80 percent in 40 minutes. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I I'm don't I don't know I don't, I'm not real sold on the style of it. Do we want to like look that. at these other Nissans or? Yeah. Or which yeah, way we'll we just go? walk we'll okay. just walk through Nissan real quick and then we'll head over to Ford. Here's a rogue. Rogues are nice. I like their mm -hmm. size and like how they sit when you drive them. Like they have a nice height. This one's got two hundred and one horsepower, it's up to thirty seven miles per gallon. So Wow. Yeah. That's wow. Good. That's awesome. Beautiful. It's a nice style. I, I kind of yeah. like the way that it looks. You know, it does kind of look a little bit like an ocean. Oh, yeah, it looks does. A little actually. bit like the Fisker Ocean. Inside here. Again, they're utilizing that space yeah. underneath the console there. Ladies, you can fit a purse under there a lot of times. Yeah, this is, this is a nice roomy. This is a nice one to yeah. drive to. Cool. So. That 200 horsepower is, is decent enough. Um, so, going right? Yeah, let's go right. Nissan Sentra. I lost my vest. Uh-oh. Felicia's losing clothes. I'll go ahead and take the camera for a second. <laughs> All right, so we're going to walk up on a Nissan Sentra. This has got a nice little uh, orange color to it. Looks like we got 30 up to 39 miles per gallon on the highway. An eight speaker Bose sound system. I like the paint scheme with the black. It, it, it's kind of becoming a a new a, a regular thing now with vehicles putting the black tops on. Right, like we put it on with a wrap on our ID4. Yeah. It made it look much nicer. Yeah, it did really well. Look at the orange accents in those seats. That's oh, awesome. yeah. Didn't yeah, Brandon have, did struts. Brandon have um, one of these? Uh, I don't think he had a, I don't think he had a Nissan. I don't think that's what he had. We're going around here. We. This is, this is something new. This is a Rock, oh. Rock Creek Pathfinder. That is cool. I like that. Reminds Those me of a reminds cool. me of a Explorer. The end, you gotta get the inside. It's really nice. This says it has room for eight people. Is this Look at that. eight people, six thousand pound towing? Wow. Seven drive and train modes. Wow. Oh yeah, got a uh, orange stitching all in it. That is pretty cool. That's nice. So does, is this a package, the Rock Creek? Yes, it is probably, probably a, like a trim level. It's probably just a trim level that you okay. would choose. Man, they get me with those trim levels every time. <laughs> like, yeah. I want all the stuff on mine, thank you. Look at the color of this. Yeah, you can walk out front for a little while if you well, want. Point some stuff out. I don't know Another Nissan Pathfinder, just walking. 
This, <laughs> I know on our screen it looks like it's a turquoise or a teal, but it's actually green. It's like a forest green. Sort of. And again with the black top. Looks like it's got at least 20 inch wheels. This has uh, got three rows. Okay, so this is the it's same like as that. It's in the middle with the console. So we got seven. They got that seat laid down, and then you got two more seats right back there. Let's see the front. It's pretty cool. I was gonna pop this trunk if I can. Take a look at the back. I'm just here. curious. Oh, um, that's more than it looked from yeah, when I was inside. Yeah, that is really not too bad. No. Um, you could stand stand up to... Um, right, and unless you're hauling back. more than four people at a time, you can just always have yeah. that down and have a good amount of cargo space. No, we're, we're, uh, we're actually live on YouTube, so... <laughs> Are you one of the... Uh, I was like, did you see the extra storage? Though? Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so she. Show me. Here, I was going to say, there you are going to show some extra storage. storage. I know, I'm like the mom in the group. I that's think like, I'm all I know. Extra. I know, same. I'm like, let's There's see all, all this extra storage. Ah, I know. Yes. So it's like all your little that's snacks really and helpful. blankets and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think for three rows, it's a pretty good oh, amount of space. These actually recline a lot, too, which I feel oh, like wow. oh. this is one of the few back seats I get in and right. actually feel like I have room. Yeah. So, and because That's the cool. middle row slides on a track system, you can oh, adjust okay. it for more legroom in the back. Oh, too. So, and then the bed, do you come as an option of a bench seat in the middle, so it can be eight passenger uh -huh. instead of just seven, or that whole console pops right out. That's what I thought. Yeah. Probably did, yeah. yeah. And then if you ever just need a haul anything, all this stuff just folds down too. Easy. Nice wow. Yeah, nice. Cool. Thanks for showing us that. <laughs> awesome. All right. These are, these are like so beautiful. I love it. Our camera the isn't tree, like getting the. Is my favorite. Yes. Just because it's the more like off road version. So we right. have to go camping and stuff. And I love that it has the more heavy duty roof rack. Yeah. I'm an artist, so I'm like, look at all the cool orange stitching inside. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yes. Did a nice job on it's it. really nice. I love Plus it. It has kind of that Xterra ish look. Remember the uh -huh. Xterra? Uh huh. I have one, yeah. Which I loved. And yep. I'm like, this looks more mm. kind of rugged like that. Used yep. To look. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. And this color, I, I wish. So pretty, and, um, yeah. I wish we could capture it. Well, thank right. you. That one will hide all the mud. You know? Right, <laughs> exactly. I live in a dirt road in Michigan, and I'm like, anything. <laughs> right. I don't have to wash as often. I would be perfect for a dirt right. road. Yeah. <laughs> right. Awesome. Thank you. thank you. Oh, this is the um, Armada. Oh, yeah. This, my sister had one of these. These things are, are this huge. Is a they beast. are a beast. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. No, do what you Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just getting a picture of it. Make sure everybody gets a gets a good view of it. Show them how how big it is. It's huge. Oh my word! Feels like they're adjustable somehow, but I don't know. There's a huge console with cup holders and storage and charging and uh, tiltable entertainment screens on the back of the headrests with charging too so or maybe not charging but just to plug in do you know what all these need is a tray like every like family vehicle should oh, have yeah. like in an airplane <laughs> little pop-up tray i'm sure you can buy them to add on but Oh yeah, this is nice. You want me to do the inside? I think they were saying the pie mic is buggy. I wonder if it didn't get charged well enough. This um, type of wood grain is a little retro <laughs> with the swirls. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I love that. I feel like, I don't know, but nice size infotainment screen. It's pretty good. I have a 
really bad sprained ankle, so I'm like gingerly getting in and out of stuff. Yeah. So don't make fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay over here with the Nissans. It's so big. Oh my goodness. What's this guy? Listen, that's what we love here. I am is not sure what this one is. Rogue? No. What is this? Oh, well, be careful, honey. They're sh shooting a video, so that's just letting you know not to walk too far. We got people shooting videos and stuff over here, so we got to watch where well, we're walking. Well, maybe we'll just come back. <laughs> Let's maybe we can move over and cover these couple things here. Nissan Frontier. Frontier. I like this, like, putty color. So this is, is this, would this be a small or mid? Mid size. Kind of like a uh, Ranger. So they've got some of the same styling as the Wild Track edition over there. Oh yeah, because this is a Pro 4X, so yeah. this is a higher off-road trim level. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's look at the back. I'll take it and you can climb in if you want. No, I need to not climb for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I hit my head getting in, so headroom, my head is like almost touching. Yeah, the so top. unless you're carrying, um, you know, all adults. But yeah, in the back, the back is good, like your legs and stuff, just the height is a little low. Gotcha. Uh, oh, it's okay. Um, I like this step right here, though. That's pretty cool. Even though you don't really need it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go okay. this way. Um, so this actually. Back around. Get this one up on rocks. <laughs> See, it's got a got a roof rack up there. No, I was DC. This one looks like it's set up for camping. Do we have any other cameras? Nope. We can go back there. Fire. Got some forest. Yep. That's about how much water I need for the day. <laughs> right. We can't go camping longer than a day, though. Oh my gosh. This is probably a significant add on, but very cool. Looks like you can do a couple things with this rack. Probably several things, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you could probably even mount a tent and stuff up on yep, top of here, also. Probably. Very nice. I like the, the fake It's the fake. fake dirt. I know, look, there's tire tracks in it. You can have a seat on a log. Okay, let's head Let over. check on everybody. Yeah. He thinks you're wandering too far from the camera. Yeah. Or, heard, with the Bluetooth. I okay. saw that earlier, but I don't think, I don't, I don't know if it's that or if the mic just, we didn't get charged completely or something. I'm not sure. Right. I don't know how long you guys want this to be. Should we be faster? I yeah, know. probably. <laughs> we're definitely gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna over go back through and do some individual forward. reviews for you and yeah. more in depth for later um, videos. Yeah, so we're but, gonna walk through Ford now. We got the uh, Ford, the new Ford Tremor. It, no, um, what is that this year? Is this out right yes. now or is it? Okay. Yes, it is out right now. Um, and I will be getting one. Hopefully they've got, they got one in at Heller and hopefully I can get it. And Oh, he, he doesn't mean buy one. No. I thought he meant buy one. No. Okay. Um, Just check. Oh yeah. So we'll be able to do, uh, have it for a weekend and give you guys a good review. Yeah. Hopefully thing. we'll be able to do that without any, any problems. So this but. is cool. This is what it's like. Just another off-road set Just another F-150 type. Yeah, this is a trim level that's um, like above the four, the um, FX4. So mm. it's a little more off-road-ish than even the FX4. Does this Lightning look small? Why does it look small? Uh, I don't know. I guess this because package back here is so high up. So big, yeah. I need this so when I go this, to the mall. 
<laughs> the Ford Transit. Wait, do they make malls anymore? No, I don't know if there's any malls anymore. Um, but this is the pro version. Oh, so okay, this yeah. is what was supposed to be the forty thousand dollar one, and is not forty thousand now. It's like fifty one. So we haven't reviewed this um, this one, and and it has like vinyl. yeah vinyl seats. So um, you can rinse this whole thing out. Yeah, there's even like vinyl just, in the bottom, and I believe yeah, there's no like, carpet. There's plugs in the bottom, I think, to let the water drain, but I'm not positive on that. Yeah, so we have like their standard setup. The Pro does not come with the work thing, does it? I don't no, think. That, which is weird. Tables. It's a it, the the shifter folds down. Yeah, and, but you don't get the work surface, even though it's supposed to be a work truck. Huh. It's supposed to be for workers, and it doesn't go down. So yeah. Very cool. Let's see what it looks like for the crew. But other than that, they are exactly the same as the other ones. They just don't have this, all the frills and leather seating and yeah. all the extra stuff. But um, it's perfect. Doesn't have the front light bar, doesn't have a rear light bar, which is fine. It's not anything that's majorly important. But alright. <laughs> I hope your mic is working now because we got a couple more people saying it's really bad. Do you want to switch with me since you have... Let me... I'm going to charge mine and we'll swap out. I'm going to charge mine. You can talk. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> oh see, there's that um, car I was talking about that looks peak from far away. The... Remember what it was in the sun. It's on Aria. Uh, Aria, yeah. See how it looks from here, babe? It's like rose. Yeah, it's like a rose gold. We're gonna kill mine. I am going to plug it in, get it charging for a little while. We may have to just... Volkswagen Atlas update. I don't know anything about that. Okay. I'm excited to get to see Volkswagen, which we actually just traded no, our... No, they don't know yet. <laughs> we don't want to give away anything yet. Because especially if you're not a subscriber yet, you might want to subscribe. Because yeah. uh, we got a lot of info on the ID4, and we got info coming up on a new vehicle soon. So... Um, so subscribe if you're not. If you are, get ready because things are going to change a little bit. Oh. So, this is like a really cool. Mid oh, I don't have a mic. This is uh, this is just an F-150 Limited. So it's got like leather seats and a sunroof and things like that. So these are just regular F-150s. These are this is a new Super Duty. There are of a super duty. Oh, geez, you don't even want to know. I think it's like eight, yeah, it's like 18 different versions that you can get of this Super Duty. Um, this one is a Lariat, but they are crazy. They are extremely powerful. Um, that's, they're both F 250s. This is an STX. So, this the STX is basically just a um, appearance package, but it is it does have the FX4 off road package on top. Um, some of these can actually, some of these can actually, uh, I can do it. Oh. Some of these can actually tow up to like 15 to 18,000 pounds. So that's pretty crazy. Um, here is the King Ranch. I don't know if I like that big chrome King Ranch on the back and I have not understood why this why this is the symbol for King Ranch. I don't know. <laughs> if somebody knows, let us know. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So they got... the All the King Ranches have always done the two-tone on the bottom and the top, I believe. Uh, that's pretty cool. And if you're not sure this that this looks familiar. This actually looks the same as what the Ford Lightning looks like on the inside um, with an XLT or the Pro that has a 12 inch screen in it. The Lariat and above on the, on the Lightnings have that big tablet, but that's pretty much what the Lightning looks like in, inside. 
Okay, and here is a ranger. They got a ranger in at Heller also now. So we'll have our choice between getting a Ranger or the Tremor F-150. If you guys have a preference, let us know. Um, I wondered about these. I haven't been in these yet. Oh, my word. Oh, not a Mustang yet. I want to get in this Ranger. I used to have a Ranger at a 2004 uh, Ranger and I love the thing, drove it everywhere. But I wasn't so sure about these new ones. I don't like the way that they kind of slope and angle in the front. I think for next year, they're squaring that off to kind of more like the Maverick, which I'm hoping to see a Maverick here too. But yeah, it's actually a decent amount of space. I mean, the seats are slid all the way back, but. Sorry. You're good. You're fine, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, no USB-C chargers up here. It only has USB-A plugs instead of USB-C, which is interesting. And the back seats, they look like they probably have a decent amount of room. It's, I think this is similar to the Volkswagen Amarok that's you know, over overseas that we don't get. So uh, a little tight, but they do have this um, cutout in the back of the seat. So your knees can go in there. And this probably isn't quite adjusted where I would normally sit. So yeah, it's a little tight, but the headroom is pretty decent. I got a, you know another inch or two above my head, so not too bad. Huh? Show this what? little info about the Ford Co-Pilot. Oh. Oh, the Ford, okay, yeah, the Ford Co-Pilot 360. Um, the Assist also includes, like, Blue Cruise and things like that, If you, uh, which Blue Cruise is pretty cool. Um, Blue, the Ford Blue Cruise, Blue Cruise um, actually is hands-free driving on certain highways, and it, and it works pretty well. Uh, here is a Ranger FX4, so you got it off-road. Those are the Super Duties. What? Yeah. Please check out Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah. We will, um, we will. We will. We'll check out Volkswagen. Um, but this all. is the FX4 Ranger. We should probably go a little faster. Except no. this. <laughs> so here is... This, this one is the 23. This is a 23 Mustang GT. <laughs> um, so this one prices out of 51 which is not horrible and it's 15 miles a gallon in the city and 24 on the highway so it actually gets decent mileage on the highway that's pretty cool um, this is we've got a 5.0 in it and that is an automatic it's not a stick even though it looks like one <laughs> And the green is a nice color on this, the green and the black. Wait. No. And now what we have back here is the 2024 Mustang, the new body style. New body style. The new body style. Now we got somebody that's over here setting up taking camera pictures, so we don't want to get in her picture view, but we can stand over here and look at it. So there it is. That is the new body style for the new Mustang. Next time we come through, I'll yeah. take pictures. And you can video. So, like. it's really nice. I, I really like the way that it looks. I, I like the front better than this front. Oh, honey. <laughs> I know. But yeah, that's the new body style. Looks pretty nice.
I like all the ground effects on it. I'm sure the lower trims won't have all those ground effects. But. Okay. Um, back here, we got a couple Mach E's. This is gonna be a GT. And it's got, it's got Felicia's favorite wheels on it. It's, it's saying that it's charged up. Thank you. Hi, Zach. Jim Owens, good to see you. Okay. Uh, you having a good day? Yeah, probably a long day. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, for me, this is, this is the good stuff, right? For sure. Yeah. So, we're trying to work on this mic. It's not, it's not even turning on now. Yep, the flower wheels. So those are the Felicia's favorite wheels. Just kidding. She absolutely hates those. And I do, I know that they, they have these over in Europe also. These uh, Mach E's. This one, so this is the GT. So it's going to have like somewhere around 480 horsepower. All wheel drive. Alcantara seats and then here is another this is a um, premium you'd usually you can tell by the wheels most of the time there are they do you can't choose different wheels but this is what mainly what the premium has on it now if the premium with the extended range battery you get 270 miles and now what this is showing here is if you get the all-wheel drive is 270 miles. If you get a the rear-wheel drive, I believe it's rear-wheel drive, then you can get up to 305 miles of range. The zero to 60 in three and a half seconds, that is on the GT Performance. But you got a few little things. You get phone, you use phone as a key, which is, would be a nice feature. Yeah, it's, it, it just means that they connect to Electrify America and EVgo, I think a few different other charging things, and then you can plug and charge. That's all that's for. Okay. And you get a little bit of discounted rate by paying a, a fee to be part of that. You get like 25% 20 off. Okay, we're at an hour. Yeah, that's fine. We can just record as long as we want. People will watch what they want to watch, and you won't watch when you don't want to watch. So there's a, there's a convertible. Of the uh, of the 2024. All right. There's another Ford Lightning. This is the. Can't tell if this is the black or the. It looks black. I don't think. I don't think this is the Animator Blue, which is like what we we had in the uh, Raptor that we got. Which one is it? This is the Expedition. This is a monster of a vehicle. And this is the Maverick over here. The, these guys are all all around. Um, but I'll just stand next to you. You see how small it is. So, yeah, you can see how, how short the Maverick is. Still no eight foot drywall. Um, but hopefully, we'll be get get one of those to test also, at some point. All right. So like I was saying earlier, I think that the Rangers are for 2024 will be having the more of this style front end. So it'll be more square and not so rounded off. Oh, I, I got life and We've got some explorers. We just had an explorer on our channel. If you haven't seen that review, you can check that out. It's XLT. And we got some Ford Escapes, and then we got some Broncos back here. So here's the Escape. Um, and then I believe they've got an Escape. Uh, escape also comes as a plug-in hybrid, which is nice. This is the 2023 Escape. Now, they've they made some slight um, adjustments to the outside. I believe the front grille and fascia is just a little bit different. Color. Yeah. 
This thing does not want to stay charging. The power bank keeps shutting off. It's got plenty of power. Okay, so now we'll go back here to these Broncos. Now, we test drove a two-door Eruption Green Bronco. This one is the Everglades. So it has two more inches of um, clearance than normal. Um, it looks like it's got similar, I don't think it's a Sasquatch, but it's similar to the Sasquatch package. It might be the Sasquatch package. You've got a snorkel up here, so you can go through water. Um, of course, they they have a map here on the other side on the side this everglaze and then has the sasquatch in here so this must have the sasquatch package so it says sasquatch sasquatch lives here um four door i i still prefer the two door look but it was so small on the inside that if you're going to need some room you need to get a four get the four door hello if you are new um, and behind you, we have a Bronco Wild Track two door, like what we test drove and saw on our channel. Um, but they take the doors off. And one thing that's cool about the Jeeps is that they, when you take the door, well, like Jeep, the mirrors are attached to the doors. But these, you take them off, you still have your mirrors, so you can drive down the road without any issues. Then, uh, what else? That's it. I, I, this color is kind of neat. It's kind of a orangish red. You doing okay? I'm really starting to make my back. Okay. Do you want to walk around for a little bit? I'll carry that stuff. All right, guys. We are going to switch around here. Swapping mics here. We're just gonna walk around for a little bit. Oh my gosh, I gotta stretch this thing. Didn't hear anything that I'm saying? Yeah. If, I, if there's something you need me to read, just let me know. Okay, I'm taking a break from hauling stuff around. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, we have some videos. So Felicia has to do all the talking now because I don't have a mic and mine is charging. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have some um, folders. Uh, playlists. playlists on the Bronco Sport. We had one for a while. So, pretty cool little truck. I think you probably know all about, all about them by now. Here's a big bend. I don't know what color this is. Is this the um, Area 51? Yes. Cool. Like it, like it. Where do we want to go next? That direction, I guess. Go, we'll go walk around the other side. So, this is just um, one half of the show. We still have um, another room this size on the other side of the hallway, which is crazy. So, we're gonna just have a boring little walk here. It's really nice to be here. No worries. Uh, nice to be here on media day because normally all of these open spaces are packed to the max with people like I've been here where it's like standing room only and so this is really nice so we're coming up to Subaru my brother's family loves Subaru they have two these are known to be uh, have longevity buy them hand them down to your kids kind of deal 
Ryan would have this for the dogs, probably. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. That's ours. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Lost the coat. Here's the outback. Oh, one thing that Subaru does every year puppies. Oh, Subaru does puppies every year. Let's let's have a look. He's like, why? No. Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, my God. Go in and play with the puppies. What kind of puppies are these? We'll come back. We'll come back when people don't want to watch me play with puppies. We'll, we'll come back when we're not recording. All right. So here's the outback. I don't know what package this is. It looks like they did some changing to the front design. This is a really nice size vehicle for a family. There's a Forester. What's this? That is the BC Forester. Ah! Oh. It's stuck over here with the uh, Subarus. Oh, okay, sorry. This is a not a Toyota. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, man, I got a, a bad deal <laughs> stuck in the... Oh yeah, so this is really nice, uh, really nice size. It says it's a prototype, so this is for next year? Right? No, they're out right now. Oh, it says prototype. This one is a prototype. Mm, okay. This is the prototype we had out here last year. Let's get this cross track. It's unbelievable how much time they put into. This is a screen. This yeah. is all a, a screen, a light up screen. Crazy. That takes some work, y'all. Wow, that's beautiful. I'll have to come back and get some good pictures of this. They have a, a bridge to walk over and everything. Looks like they'll probably have a presentation, I'm guessing, because that, that it's on a spinny, on a spinny thing. <laughs> I'm so professional. And here we have some of the Subaru cars, which we don't see a whole lot of new cars come out these days. They're all like SUVs and crossovers. So it looks like we've still got some for Subaru. There's a little sporty car. I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh. Look how short this is. I'm not, I'm not getting in there. This is a B, this is a BRZ. So, um, young people who have not yet had children. Here's a Subaru for you. And then this is the WRX, all-wheel drive. It's pretty nice. Uh, There's a Chicago Drive Electric. Okay. You want to shoot any more of those? Just do a scan over there of those other Subarus? Some more uh, specialty packages on the Subarus. This is a wilderness package. Got a Forester. Good examples of my brother leased one of these Imprezas. Um, I don't love them, but that's okay. They did the job. All right. Sorry. Going to BMW on the way over. Yeah.
I don't love the shape of this BMW. This is a It doesn't say what it is. <laughs> it doesn't say what it is. Oh wow, look at the lights though. Is this the one with the um, Swarovski crystal? This has a Swar Swarovski crystal in the lights. Um, that or that's the... Come, come close. Have a look. Yeah, it is, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I like, I like this um, convertible, but I wouldn't know that it was like new. Like it looks pretty like standard. Does that make sense? Is that bad? That's probably bad. Oh, this is nice. This is the electric BMW X1 from 38,000 and up, which isn't bad. It's probably for the base. And then I've got an X7 over here, which looks like a bigger, the bigger SUV. Oh, check out the um, continuous screen in there. There's some makers doing that now. It splits off into like a couple of, what? It splits off into, you know, a separate like driving cluster and uh, radio and all that, but it's all in one continuous screen. It's a really cool color. Okay, so hopefully we're getting charged up on the other mic. If not, I'm gonna switch with Jim here in a minute because we're getting to the Chicago. You got the camera all crooked and I'll take it. And you can have my mic. Heading into the Chicago drives electric track. Okay, put this mic on me. Like it or love it, we don't know, but we love electric. So let's check these out. All right, so hopefully this mic is charged a little bit. And you guys can hear me better now. We got up here so far. So that's the BMW we saw. I didn't Sorry. realize that was electric when we came up to it. Really cool. And then, oh, so is that like mid-sized BMW? I'm assuming, yep. like all these, all these right here are electric, yep. right? Oh, yeah, these are all- everything in here is electric. Oh, Volkswagen guy. Yep, there's some ID4s back there. New so ID4s, three of them. look at that gray one. The only oh thing I gosh. don't know is if they are from Tennessee, if they're from the Chattanooga plant, or if they are from Germany. So that the the reason you need to know that is because of the tax credits yes we've got some restrictions on where where they're made and and even down to where the minerals and the battery come from so We'll come back and do some yeah. in depth on some of these. Well, this one up here is from Tennessee. You can tell by the wheels. Oh, right. Those wheels are not on the German cars. So they did redid the interior of these. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to check it out Hi. since this, this looks exactly like my car. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. A little bit different. But yeah, the gray. wheels are really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got a little more different details yeah, on the door. Everything's a little bit different. The color is not the this gray is different than the like the scale silver. Oh, that we have. so they added they took out the armrest. There used to just be a um, single armrest. Now it's got the double, 
of coverage yeah. over the over had, the storage. Yeah, we had captain's chairs. We had captain's chairs with fold down yes, armrests in, right, the, yeah. in the German one, but this one now has a center console. This is nice though. So for the charger for your phone, there's this little clip. And you sit in there and it holds your phone into the charge oh, pad. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. I love to do the little stuff that people come up with, you know? And ID4s are really cool because you can change all of this ambient lighting. There's like 30 some different color combinations you can do. So that's kind of fun. And, and we've had pretty good luck with their um, infotainment screen and stuff. Yeah, for the most our, part. we haven't had too many problems with ours, so. Um, there's Cadillac, and I see the Cadillac Lyric over there, and we do have information on the Lyric. Okay. So we will go take a quick look at that. Do you have it in your pocket or something? Oh, yep. All right, let's head over and look at the Cadillac Lyric. And there's some more uh, electric cars that can be test driven or uh, take rides in here. Wow, that's cool. This is a little pricey, this guy, I do okay, believe. Okay, here we go, Cadillac Lyric. So we got 312 mile range. Looks, that looks like rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. 190 kilowatt max charge speed. 33 inch LED display, so that must be one of the continuous displays. Yeah, I believe it is, yep. 19 speaker audio system, that's pretty cool. Built in Google software, over the air updates, active noise cancellation. We've got on the rear wheel drive 340 horsepower and 325 torque. And then the all-wheel drive is 500 horsepower with 450 torque. Four drive modes, tour, sport, snow and ice, and my mode. I wonder what my mode is all about. Uh, you can set it up so that it can do different characteristics inside the car however you want it. So you just press that button and it switches everything instead of having to go in and change things every time. So it looks like when you get one of these new, you can either get two years of unlimited charging or up to $1,500 toward... Um, $1,500 towards oh, at-home home installation. Install on the charger. Yeah. You want to pop the trunk? Yeah. See if we can find the button anywhere. I do, I do want to pop the trunk. That'll be a, somewhere along there. Right. No? Let's see if I can find it. Is there a button? So you're gonna hit the logo. Oh, oh the logo! Oh, it's the logo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wow, now that's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Oh my that. gosh, look how much space there is back here. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. And we've got even more under here. Wow, that's really good. I wonder what this is. That's that's really nice and then they've got the seat folded down on the one side to show yeah. how much how much room you got good with that yeah that's good you want to um come around to this side where there is nobody's at and have a look down the side or is it too close up oh she'll probably tell you so this has got a really sharp and get the shape. back i would like to see what this looks how like. the handles work oh you're quite welcome just push so it. this is the yeah this is the one where there is a handle but you just tap it. These are awesome. Oh yeah, huge room. Oh uh, yeah, and the comfort we would expect from Cadillac. So, oh my goodness, the driver space is crazy. Look at this. Wow. Really cool. Alright. Beautiful. So, 
Some that of those whole front lights, lights up. Or something. The whole grill and everything lights up. Yeah, if you look close, there's. Yeah. yeah. I thought I had oh, like chasing goes. lights and stuff. Oh, cool. Just by touching it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> She's like, wow. They're just. That's beautiful. That's pretty cool. I was, when I first saw this car, I was like, like online or whatever. I was like, it's hard to believe this tiny strip can light the whole road. Do you see it's the crazy. dash? Look at the dash. Oh, wow. Well, the, That's the, the logo. That's so cool. The logo was lit up. That was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Does the back that. logo light up when you're going down the road, I wonder, at night? <clears throat> Wow. It's pretty awesome. Beautiful. Here's the one with the lights on. I want to check out that back. Um, oh, this is test, ri test rides. I want to check out the back uh, little button and see if it's lit up because the lights are on. I'm just curious. Nope. <clears throat> well, when we're not just doing a quick, well, it's not uh, turning out to be a quick walkthrough, but we'll, maybe we'll come back and do some test drives. We don't want to move along for you. It looks yeah. like we have a Marines truck over there, Ryan. F-150. Whoa, look at that giant beast. <laughs> hey. Wow. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty nice. We can get some food here sometime. <laughs> but the effort and the setup, right? Right. Awesome. Oh, we here we have an army display. And then we've got a, a police little setup. Well, Cook County Sheriff to be exact, but... Um, we've got some Corvettes over here. Jim. Uh oh. Can you guys hear Jim? Yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. Let's head over here and see some Corvettes. We're good. Uh, we're live right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, this this one is you can win this. Oh, okay. So this so, is the little stands that oh, aren't so, set up oh, for, okay. for, to, for uh, the show for the weekend. You could win this. So this um, is going to be... This is the... Um, uh, is it's this a C8. Stingray? I think it's a C8. It looks like a C8. It's a Stingray. Yeah, Stingray. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep, yep Corvette C8 Stingray. Sorry, guys. We got us back to some parts that, like... Aren't really open. Yeah, they're not really set up yet. Um, here's a Autel power station. So they're going to so be doing some sort of a display for fast charging. So they're going to be working on charging infrastructure across the U.S. Or what's up with that? Um, Autel, yeah, they're another another charging solution. Okay. They? And awesome. they got some small portable chargers. It looks like we're probably re ready to hit that other side. Well, we've got Jeep up here. We haven't made it to Jeep oh, yet. Oh, gosh, we haven't. Oh, yeah, we've got a hill climb over here coming up on the right. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of Jeep vehicles over here. I don't know a whole lot about some of the new Jeep vehicles, but it's yeah, definitely... Jeep. Jeep has like three electric vehicles coming out, but um, the first one that came out, I can't remember the name of it, but it was only in the, oh, in Europe. And it's like the, it's really small. <laughs> it's not very big, but it looks cool. Oh, wow, look at that Grand Cherokee. I love the two-tone. That's really cool. Yeah, and this Willys so, Jeep is pretty cool. This Willys Jeep is a, I think it's a plug-in hybrid. Yes, it's the plug-in hybrid. Yeah. And this is an electric chair. Yeah, they're uh, f the 4XE is what I believe is what they call it. Yeah. Wow. And generally they can go about 30 to 35 miles on a charge for uh, ju just electric. It's a hybrid? Yes. Oh, okay. 
So this is the Trailhawk package. Wow. Take a look at the inside detail there, the, the stitching and stuff. And little, got a pretty comfortable looking setup. Yeah, it's got the blue I mean, stitching. Like, everything you need is just right. I like how the screen is slanted. That's awesome. Yeah, all these are four XEs. Wow. All the different trim packages. There's a uh, Jeep Wrangler Willys. Grand Cherokees. Oh, there's the Grand Wagoneer back here. There's compass. a compass. Oh, yeah, and then we've got some. This is the Grand oh, Wagoneer. Boy. What's the difference between Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer? Well, the, the Wagoneer, and then you've got the Grand Wagoneer. Well, okay, okay, but I mean, <laughs> what exactly is the difference, I wonder? It's basically a platinum version of a regular Wagoneer. Oh, my cousin Pam needs this. Oh my gosh. Woo, I do not <gasps> like that. Ew. It's huge, though. It's ugly. That Don't yellow be so is mean. ugly. Sorry, but it's uh, that yellow is ugly. So offensive. I know, but look at the setup of this thing. Yeah, there's like screens. I think these have like eight screens or six screens or something crazy weird like that. Pam could put all her kids in here. Wow, that's awesome. Beautiful. Huge. I mean, oh my word. All yeah. that cargo. What? Three rows of seats and all that cargo? Yeah, it's like a That's Ford crazy. Expedition. I mean, it's that big. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That would not fit in our garage, I don't think. Um, no, would not. This one's really pretty. I like the white. The white. Yeah. Oh, we've got some Fiat. Yep, yeah, we got more, Alfa Romeo and Jeeps. Fiat. Look at this crazy Jeep. Wow. What on earth is all this? <laughs> um, I On our camera, it looks pink. I don't know this why, but extra. it's not. It's red. Extra and also extra. Oh my gosh. These are... Uh, Mopar parts, all these. Oh, wow. This thing's crazy. Wow. It's on a Jeep Gladiator. Look at the detail on that. Oh, here we've got um, the shocks and everything. Different Fox shocks and yep. springs. Cheap, basically free. Oh, it's snowing over there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I don't even pick it up on the camera. <laughs> Here we got some Alfa Romeo. My uh, brother-in-law, Brandon, had an Alfa Romeo for a while. I'm not, I don't think he has it anymore, but. Very nice, very nice. I like this one. Is this the Tonal? The new to Tonal? Not Toenail, I think it's Tonal. Yeah, no, this no, is. No, it's not. This is the Ste Stelvio. Stelvio. This is nice. I'm gonna have a look inside. You guys wanna have a look inside with me? This is a really nice car. Oh, this is really cool because it's a, Ryan's car has this. That you oh can, yeah, it you, extends. Yeah, you can move that back and forth. That's cool. Y'all, there's so much in here. Come inside with me. So, we're in an SUV, but like, this is so sporty. I mean, just look at the the pedals and everything, and the layout. The infotainment screen is is like seamlessly blended into the dash. Really great craftsmanship here. Uh oh, we're blinking something. Oh nope, it went away. Probably just hit the power button on the side on accident, but. 
It happens. Does it, does it do anything? No. Okay. I also want to show them the inside because it's yeah. like really well laid out. I like these wheels. I think these are cool. You can see the co everything. The color is awesome too. I just think just because you can see the pads. The you would want to keep that clean. Everything. That's crazy. Or maybe this is the tonal. I don't even know if that's right. I'm going to go look. Yeah, it is. Tonali. I think it's Tonali. Yeah. And this is green, not teal or turquoise. It's green, green, like <laughs> it's like green shamrock. Green. Green. Yep, shamrock green, exactly. This is a new for Alfa Romeo. It shares the platform with the Dodge Hornet. So there's some info if you oh, guys want to see. Oh man, Jim, they're gonna do a Ram event. 285 horsepower on a plug-in hybrid, which is the same as the Dodge Hornet. So uh, everything's gonna about the same. Um, and a 75 mile per gallon equivalent for fuel economy. We're gonna do a little thing on the um, electric ram. Yeah, electric ram? Yeah, it's up there on the stage. Oh. I don't know how we missed it. We just hadn't walked that far. We were right there. You have. Maybe it was closed. They probably haven't brought it out yet. But there is info. See how far close we can get, and we will. Uh, oh, you know what? We can't. The music, the music will kill our everything. Okay, you have no idea. Well, maybe after it starts. We gotta go away from the music, and we'll come back because. Yeah, maybe once they start. Otherwise, we will. I'm gonna have to cut that whole section anyway. Yeah, I they do not what... like music. There we go. Well, now we're back. It's gonna Sorry, cool guys. There's a dead spot inside. <laughs> we are going to walk over to the other side of the building. Browse by. Oh, here's the Nissan Aria. We didn't get a chance to look inside of it a minute ago, so we're going to show that real quick. So you guys see the screen and the index. The thing that I think is cool is the passive buttons into the dash and into the center console that you just touch. I think those are really cool looking. I don't know how well they work, but I think they're cool. This is lit up, I think. Is yes. that lit up? Yep, it is. It's cool. It's part of the ambient lighting. That's pretty cool, yeah. It's nice. Nice car. Okay. Looks like we're picking up some more foot traffic for some reason. Oh, everybody's yeah. coming to see the do the ram. Everybody's coming over to the ram um, thing, and which we can't do. <laughs> we would if they weren't playing music, and we would stand there and let you guys see that. But we will put a review on that. We will get up there and uh, like talk about it and everything. Give you guys some information in probably a later video. Probably won't make it back there today. So we're gonna go over to the other side. So and it's yeah, we're be working our way to the other side. Mad empty. <laughs> Walk by and show these kind of these Toyotas as we go through. We we covered a little bit earlier in the video. So if you just got here, you'll want to go back and watch the beginning because that's where we started was with all the Toyotas, including the new Toyota Crown. Ford on the other side, the Mach E. Lightning. Oh, we got a Cubs wrap here. Oh, yep. There you go. go Cubbies. Go Cubbies. He's a serious Cubs fan, y'all. Like, serious. Don't mess I, I, with it. It's not like I have a tattoo on my arm or something. He has a tattoo on his arm. <laughs> he does. All right. So you can see this place is huge. This is, uh, like I said earlier, that this is the largest auto show in North America, I believe is what they say. So we are almost to the exit to this side, and then we will walk across and go into 
the other building where is Chevy and Honda. Looks like Lexus, Kia, Volkswagen. Um, oh, well, we haven't seen uh, some of the concepts. You know what we haven't seen? The, the Corvette E-Ray. We haven't seen the E-Ray, the, the um, Wildcat, the Buick Wildcat. Buick Wildcat. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check that stuff out. I smell food. Let's be fast. There is yeah. food. I'll drop you off. Chrysler Airflow. Oh, yeah. That's going to all up. be on this side. There's an airplane in here. Where? There is an airplane. Oh, I airplane see it. There's a, a pillar in front of it from my view. It's crazy. We're going to see the um, new Chevy Blazer EV. I think they might have a plug in hybrid. Also. So, if anybody has never seen what a media area looks like, this is what a media area <laughs> looks like at an auto show. <laughs> Everybody plugged in, connected to everything. Trying to be fast, Trying to up, fast, yep, fast. Upload as fast as they can. Try to be the first one to get something out there. There are only two of us, so we don't have that luxury. So yeah, these are a lot of these are journalists and magazine writers, newspaper. Ooh, they have the Hyundai Ionic Five. We can ride in. Oh, I've yes. never been in one. We're totally gonna like get through this oh i'm sorry <laughs> sorry you have to have bracelets when you're walking around in here so they know that you're a part of this group but honda. So there's a honda a honda Baja. jet plane i wonder yeah if that's like an antique or something <laughs> i don't think so probably not it's probably the, it's probably a concept oh okay maybe like the font on it made me think oh that's cool what is that uh, let's baby go back blue. here and look at this uh honda back here so we're in the Honda area. We're going to walk through Honda first. Oh, we lost some people. We're taking too long. <laughs> got seven likes. Anybody who hasn't liked, if you like, could like this, that'd be great. Um, but here is oh wow, the Honda. This is probably the Civic. Yeah, Civic, Civic Type R. R. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's red inside. Yeah. Not going to be able to tell that. No. Uh, kind of. You can kind of see the red. Kind seats. of a deep. Like a darker red inside. Wow, that's sharp. Um, and then we just got some Honda SUVs back here. This is the Passport with the Trail Sport package on it. CRV. Honda CRV. Um, let's go around this way. Walk by the CRV. This CRV actually is a little purpley and really metallic. It's like cobalt. It's almost a purple. It's like a. Oh, it is pur purpley. It's a from purplish blue. A it's pretty crazy. Side. How much battery you got on your on your phone? Oh, I have no idea. I can't tell. Oh, okay. Well, if we fall off. Yeah. <laughs> you know where we are. Yeah. If uh, if the stream just abruptly ends, that means that my phone battery died. Another Civic here. This is a Civic. There's a prologue back Another behind you. Civic. To the right. Oh, yeah, the new prologue. This yep. is the new electric SUV. We're going to try to do some in, in, more in depth coverage on that, but there's a look at it. Yeah. For now. Sir, I think you dropped. Is that you? Oh. But yeah, that's the new Honda's new electric. I thought it looked pretty good in the pictures, but now I don't know. It's different. Well, I mean, it's an it's an electric car that's going to be super easy to um, cross over into because it's a familiar uh, shape and size. I feel like. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'll Honda look at the Jet specifications. Elite. Yeah, what's you, going you on? Walk Honda, around. Honda Jet Elite. Reimagining flight from the ground up. I don't think any of us know what these uh, stats mean. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. The inside of that. Yeah, it's pretty wow. cool. All right. We'll probably get one of those for OSR Garage. The Honda Ridge line. You think? Sure, why not? Ridge line with two little baby dirt bikes in the back. <laughs> There's oh, the wow. Ionic 5s. Those are awesome. I still don't know how I feel about that dent in the door. That like... Yeah, that crease. It's like a crease. Is this the Ionic something else? What no, is this? they're all the same. Ionic 5s. It doesn't have the same... It does. Oh, it's, it's just, just matte. the matte finish, yeah. so you can't see it. It does, it does look a lot better in the matte finish. I need to switch arms. Oh, here. I can do no, it now. No, no. Just do this, and we will switch my arms. Do you need me to do the camera? And we're still good. Okay. No, we're good. Oh, they we don't need a, to see my face. We got 11 people back on here now. They they would rather see your face than mine. <laughs> I mean, you guys really don't want to see my face, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Acura. Integras. Very Those are cool. Nice. Lexus, beautiful. So what is Lexus, this one in the What are these? It's all the Acuras. So what is this here's beautiful Lexus. piece of machinery? I don't know, but that looks like suede on the dash. 2023 LC 500 convertible. Shown price MSRP is one twelve ninety. Wow. I mean, again, very low. <laughs> Beautiful though. And then there's one, I'm guessing the not convertible is really pretty. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Shapes of these are beautiful. Do you guys need a Lexus brochure? A Lexus brochure? Do you want a sure. Lexus, Lexus brochure? It's the brochure. Okay. Email it. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Sure. Which, uh, which wood do you guys want to learn more about? Which cars? I think the. I don't know. That thing. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sure. What's your name? Felicia, F E L I C I A. You can go around if you want. And then last name? Parrot, P A R R O T T. All right. So this uh -huh. is that Lexus L LC 500. Non convertible. Six, Looks really nine, nine, nice. Yep. And then what that is, but this thing -I -A. looks pretty cool. 472 horsepower, a 5.0 liter engine in it, 4.2 seconds. OSR Garage. We got any Lexus fans out there? Yeah, no dash. OSR Garage. Yep. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Are you a Lexus owner by any chance? We are not, no. When do you plan to purchase your next vehicle? I no, here's don't the, know that we have anything yeah, an specific in mind. We have a YouTube channel uh, I like this. I like for this. automotive content. Uh, this actually content. is like a cherry, dark Always cherry down for red with more information. Uh, black okay, so accents. I'm just going to send you information about Lexus. Yes, 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 yes. Do that. That'll we be have this Lexus yeah. back here, which okay. is electric. Are they going to know about and okay. And if you aren't um, sure, this kind of looks like a yes. Toyota Yes, BZ4X. I want to know about the electric, please. Please do that. Stuff that's um, and then I'll check. I'll, I'll actually, Toyota if it comes Lexus right away, I'll check together, it. And but I'll, Toyota uh, actually talk about worked with video. Subaru that's on the BZ4X yeah, and the Thank Subaru you. Solterra. And this looks like it possibly could be built on the same platform because it looks very similar. So what I was telling them is that this is... Uh, Lexus's electric vehicle. Yeah, and, I just had her send me some info on okay, that. Okay, so. and um, it looks like the Toyota BZ4X and the Subaru Solterra. Oh, yeah. It's, it's And so Toyota and Lexus are basically worked are together. Okay. And But Toyota worked with Subaru on the, Look at the Solterra. Look that. So that is what that one looks like. And I'm going to show the inside real quick. A little bit different on the inside. It has a yoke. It has a yoke steering wheel. I don't know about that. Not sure if I like that. I know so many people complained to uh, Tesla that now Tesla is offering 
round steering wheels as an option <laughs> in their Model S's. Um, this is the new Lexus RX 350, 275 horsepower, a 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder. It's like turbo. I don't know if it's, it's an inline four cylinder with a turbo. Zero to 60, 7.6 seconds. Some other Lexuses and we'll start heading on through. Let's wow. just take a look at this one. Luxurious. Yes, they are fancy inside. You do pay for that Lexus name. <laughs> Isn't there only the this elect uh, yeah. the one electric? Oh. Yeah, I think that one I believe is maybe a hybrid. No? Oh, no? I don't know. It might be hybrid, but it's not electric. Yeah, anymore. so this is I think it's their main electric car. I don't even know that it's out for purchase yet. I'm not sure. The ES. ES300H. And then up here we've got the LS500. Pretty cool car. Nice and long. It reminds me of like a pace car or something. Okay, and now we are at Kia. Kia so the first thing. So much stuff. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here with these cars that are up on the stand over here because that is the new Kia. E, no, Kia Nero EV. Um, I don't have anything on Kia. Oh. So, this one here is, I think this is the Nero. I you believe. go around and I'll get us some yes. info. Or I'll the, go around and you can. This is the Kia Nero EV for 2023. It's brand new body style, new, new model. So what kind of numbers we got, Felicia? The range is 253. They have so much information on this. It's crazy. Over our 10 inch display. Just uh, performance numbers. So you get um, 253 mile range and 64 kilowatt hour battery. Lithium ion. 150 kilowatt max charging and let's see we got power numbers power numbers and now i was struggling there don't see the power numbers on this actually so i also don't see an msrp are they making these yet um like i'm not sale? sure if they are here in the u.s oh here they are EV wind 39550 and wave 44. Okay, so so yeah, average. Pretty it's good. A nice looking, nice looking car. Yeah. I mean, I would drive it. It's a little bit smaller and be nice to commute back and forth to work. Yeah. And so, then this is the refresh 2024 Seltos. So this will be out next year. Yeah, it'll probably be out maybe the end of this year. They might be able to start getting that. There's not a whole lot of info on that as far as, like, um, range or anything. Well, Wait, this no, is this not, is gas. Yeah, this is a gas one. This is a, we've got a 1.6 liter turbo four-cylinder. 195 horsepower, 195 torque. We're going to catch some of these while we're back here or I'm, going up gonna there? going to go this way and then circle back Oh, around. okay. Sounds good. Oh, there's the... Uh, um, so it looks like they got... Here, they got some the off the stand. That's what we were just looking up yeah. at up there. Yeah. So this one has, so over there, you'll see that that back panel yes. is a different color. Right. You can pay extra and have it match the body color. <laughs> right. Like this one. It's like, it, it, that's the funny thing is, is that it, you have to pay extra to have it body colored. Otherwise, you get a black one or a silver one or something that's a complete different color. This is really um, narrow, like, oh. I can, like, reach the other door. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, really narrow, and this is, like, I'm only 5'6", and there's not much headroom left. Wow. In there, so. And this, steer this is for, like, a mini person, I think. <laughs> steering wheel is, like, really small, too. I wonder what the back looks like. Oh my gosh, you would not look. 
My head is right. <laughs> yep, there's not a whole lot of head. No, in. or leg. Legs, the leg doesn't look too bad. I but. mean, you wouldn't fit back here. I fit back here okay, but <laughs> you would fit, but you would not be going very far. <laughs> Don't think. So here's the one with that. Now, the one thing here is though, with that black part back there, you have black going across this bottom here, which actually ties the two together. Yeah, it doesn't I look too bad. I don't think it looks too bad. No. But without it, it would look awkward. But I also think because this is a darker color, that yes, helps. It does. <laughs> if it was like the white, it, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Got, got a, the little vents here on the side. This one, this is the plug-in hybrid. I think plug-in hybrids are awesome. This is the new Telluride. I, well, it's a Telluride, but it's a uh, new line. Yeah, the Prestige X line, uh, 21 miles to the gallon. And it looks like 3.8 liter. And then we've got anywhere from 35 to 52 on the trim, on the packages for that. Lots of options on that, probably 15 different options. Gosh, they get all out on these displays. Yeah, they do. They go crazy with these. There's a Stinger. Um, I was hearing that this might be the last year of the Stinger, but I'm not positive on that. Really? It's a pretty cool car. 20 miles per gallon and, well, a little pricey. 36 to 54 on the price, so that's pretty crazy. Yeah. They've got uh, contrasting we seat belts and stuff inside with the red, kind of cool. Moon roof. What's going on with this roof? What? This little net thing. It's a windscreen. Huh. Oh, it's really cool inside. A little windscreen on there. They got Alcantara across the bash. It's pretty cool. And similar in the seats. I forgot you had that. See some Little classic cars we'll walk through really fast because you don't know. I don't know a whole lot about these and I don't want to stop and read every single one of them. But I'll read to you. This is, this just, is the, just the names. 1961 Corvair Greenbrier by Chevrolet. We've got a 1940 Austin Bantam panel truck. Cool. Huh. 1944 Willys Overland Agri Jeep. 1969 Cadillac Eldorado. Wow. That's that amazing. thing is huge. <laughs> 71 Rolls Royce Whoa. Cornic? Cornich? Whoa, look how pink Convertible? it looks on the, on the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's more of like a dark, fu a dark fuchsia in real life. A 69 Dodge Dart Swinger 340 concept car. Huh. So I don't know. They never made them or something? 59 Chrysler. Chrysler Imperial Crown. We learned a little bit. Look at the little crowns over the lights. Oh, yep. We learned a little bit about the crown name and, and how it's been used over on so many things. Yeah. Well, that one's a oh, 37 boy. Ford. Look at this thing. 37 Bantam Roadster. I need that for like running to the gym. Right. Dodge Super B, 1970. Uh-oh. What is this thing back here? Oh. Concept, I would assume. Oh, yeah, my goodness. I don't goodness. think that, that would be safe. Look at this paint. This is what people thought our cars were going to look like in the year 2023. 56 Lincoln Continental Mark II Custom Bubble Top. This is crazy. That is a crazy good looking car. Yeah, so it looks like that was custom from uh, the top. Okay, we are over here to GMC and it looks like there is an electric Hummer. Oh. It's like they're getting it set up or opening things up. It's 
So this has got the Ultium platform. That's the, this says here, revolutionary new GM EV battery technology behind the GMC Hummer EV pickup and SUV super trucks. Engineered with advanced new chemistry for outstanding range, power, and charging speed, Altium is the solution for an all-electric future. It's pretty cool. Look how big those wheels and tires are. It's just are. crazy. So they just took the T-tops out and they're showing how the uh, the tops actually fit in the front. Oh, cool! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, nope, that's not it. Thought it was it. I saw a Denali on the back. I thought it was the electric electric Denali. But it's not. It's just a regular GMC Denali. Oh, and we're coming up to Buick. There is... Drink some water. Drink a water real quick. While you guys look around... Oh, there is the Buick. Wildcat. Wow. So this thing was slated for this year. Are they out on the market now? No. This is just a concept. It? It's a 2022 concept. Look at the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this has the new Tri Shield logo, which is pretty cool. Must be must be to help you get out of the car. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Got the Tri Shield there. That color. This is built on a new platform that supports AI, biometrics, and even aromatherapy. Or if your heart rate gets high, this car will adjust settings to calm you down. That's crazy. Look at those 18 inch spoke, like turbo looking wheels. Uh, turbine. They're Tur turbine. That's, that's wheels. what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. You can put this thing in Zen mode, turns down the lights and gives you aromatherapy and activates the massage seats. It says Wildcat on the back. Wow. I bet that does pop up to help you get out. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. It's like a surfboard in the middle. There's like lights on the back of the headrests or something. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Wow. I do not. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It doesn't look super comfortable, does it? <laughs> you think the top, I think the top pops up so you can get yourself out. <laughs> What's that center thing for? I don't know, it slide might. your drinks to the back, I guess. <laughs> it's like here, I made, made your drink, you slide it back there. I don't know, this is pretty crazy. But you can see the mirrors are actually cameras. Yeah, and that's they, just crazy when they And they're they over there in the, on the other side, the passenger side. Yeah. You can see, see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't zoom in on this one. It's just a little Let's try to camera. zoom in a little bit here. Oh, there we go. It's got a little camera screen there. Back out. This has like massage and aromatherapy, I just read. <laughs> yeah, it can like read your, I mean, it's a concept, but it said it could read your, like if your heart rate's high. Biometrics? Yeah, there we go. if it's Back high, your heart rate's high, it said it'll, it'll adjust. <laughs> yeah. Pull okay. over now. I'm pulling you over. You you can't drive now. Let's work our way over. It's the Encore. You look that's Encore. A it's a little. Yeah. That's that little one that I whenever they first came out. They have I was a smaller like, oh, one. Gosh. They have an even smaller one than that. I think so. Uh, Buick. I like their new logo. 
The, the tri bar, yeah, I think that's pretty. How many cool. do we have on online now? And has anybody Eight. said anything about our mm -hmm. mics? Are our mics going good? Nobody's saying anything. That color is awesome. Yeah, it's kind of a brown. It's nice. So we are to the Volkswagens oh, now, Volkswagen. and so if you want to see Volkswagen, and look, they've got something under wraps up there. It totally looks like a ocean <laughs> whatever it is right it does from it's, a, it's that, in the volkswagen um, uh, area though but. yeah but if you guys look at it the outside of it it actually does kind of look like the shape of the fisker it does. ocean it does <laughs> but i know that's not what it is so here we are at volkswagen and we are looking at so we like volkswagen we have our id4 and it's you know they do a great job of price and luxury both you know uh make they make things affordable and that, already on the um that red id4 is gorgeous look at those wheels yeah this is obviously so a cool. u.s one we i think we showed earlier that um the console is completely different than the g the uh german made ones so you've got the center console instead yeah. of captain's chairs and arm rests. Do you know what the... And in the U.S. we get the lit up right. emblem on the back. Oh, we got some people talking to us. Popped up there. Already on. Uh, they said 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. What? Rob oh, says. Hey, thanks. And for that info. there's a GTI. Those are a sporty little That's pretty cool. Hatchbacks. That's what they call a hot Golf hot hatch. GTI. Oh, look at the seats. Yeah. I'm sorry. I always am like. She's always talking over I'm me a, all the time. Um, no. <laughs> it's just that I'm an artist. Oh, <laughs> the seats. Yeah. They're plaid. I like to see the design on the inside. We've got some red on the steering wheel and on the shifter. So, oh, and this is, is a stick. Yeah, yeah. This is a manual. Yeah. So that's awesome. You know, you would think that Tesla has the Model S plaid or the X plaid. Why, would you, why wouldn't you put plaid seats Isn't, in the plaid I'm car? I'm not so sure about that choice. <laughs> Did, do you know, I, you know why it's called the plaid? Um, I don't remember, but I look at this in all one color. Yep. That's cool. I like that color. Uh, no, I don't remember what it, it's uh, off of a movie. Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Yeah. That's why the, the first Model S has had ludicrous speed, and then now it's plaid. Because they've gone plaid. This, this red does look really nice. This is an all-wheel drive version. It's really pretty. So I think it's got, the all-wheel drive version, I think has 295 horsepower. You know anything about the ranges on these now? Um, yes, they do have a little bit of a bump. So the equivalent to ours, which was a rear-wheel drive Pro S, non-gradient, ours was 250, and I think they now get around 260 to 270. Now, the all-wheel drive ones are right around 260, I believe. 250 to 260. And I think, yeah, I think 270 on the rear-wheel drive ones. It's the Atlas under there. Oh. I wonder if they'll reveal those for us. They're going to do that, yeah. that's. But we... Got to listen for it. Yeah, and if they're playing music, I can't put it on record it. So. Uh, they really have a... The new 2024 Atlas is what's underneath here. Cross Sport on the left and just Atlas on the right. Oh yeah, okay. Cross Sport and Atlas. I don't know, but they they really do look like the shape of a of a ocean, Fisker Ocean. But mm -hmm. I bet they're awesome. They probably are. Volkswagen, Volkswagen really, has always made. Yeah, they really do a cars. good job. I mean, even the ID4 with um, some guys asking me, sir. Oh. It's asking if we can ask if when uh, they're going to do the show, when they're going to reveal these. Okay. So I don't know if I ask any of these people. Do you know when? Oh. You know are what? Are you at work at here? 
No. No. Okay. No, yeah, she's I'm part like... of Mama, though. Oh, hi. I just mm -hmm. became part of Mama. So. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Grace. <laughs> I'm Jim Parrot. I'm this, uh, vice president of membership. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Sorry hi. to interrupt. They're about to start. Great. Thank oh, you. perfect. Thank oh. you. Right there. All right. They're gonna start something. I'm not sure. They were gonna start something, but oh, they must be going to do something else. I am not sure who is working in this area, but we will try to find out when they're going to do that. And as long as they're not blaring music, we can come back and. Uh, and record it. I'll, I'll see if I can find out. Okay. Yeah. You guys can see how big this place is. Yeah, and that's kind of where we kind of need that to improve me too. I guess it's range. Performance is there, but yeah, if you're looking to go longer, you want to charge. Uh, Absolutely. I was just going to ask, but uh, do you know what time you're going to do the the reveal for the Atlas is will be tomorrow at 12:45. Okay. Tomorrow. We have, we're on live right now, and that everybody's like. When are they doing it? When oh, are they doing it? Okay, yeah, tomorrow. There's we have an ID four, so, so we. Okay. This so. afternoon that they're going to do something, but it's offsite. Uh, oh, okay. Here at the show be tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Just in case you guys didn't hear that, they are going to reveal tomorrow at 12:45. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can go live a little bit tomorrow maybe yeah um otherwise we'll record it and then uh, maybe we'll just have to mute out the music at the beginning of it um i don't know if anybody's interested in the supercar gallery but we'll walk through because oh, yeah, these are some crazy cars we don't know anything about them but we will have a look and gotta be careful because people are recording stuff you, you could also so, just get a rivian with 835 horsepower and go pretty Fast. Yeah. Let's just walk around the out, outside, or you want no, to? No, I think we can go in. Can we go in? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Wasn't sure. Thanks. Don't know which one is, is this. The uh, Lamborghini. It's a Lamborghini. Is it a Huracan or I don't know. I don't know my um, supercars, just so you guys know. I'm going to sit here while you uh, take a, a, a look around, okay? Okay, so we're going to look through some of these. This is pretty nice. These are all Lamborghinis. I like this here. This is... Pretty cool. They don't put the names on the back, so I don't know. Rolls Royce. Anybody knows the name of any of these? Let me know. <laughs> the The cards are all on the outside of the window. That's what the problem is. Is uh, there? You see it over there on the floor. That's what's telling what each thing is. Um, I don't know them that well, so we're just going to kind of walk through here real quick. I have uh, driven a Bentley. Continental GT. Um, that was pretty fun. Well, this this one is a hybrid. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had hybrids. What else do we got up here? Oh, here's a Maserati. And this one was a that was a Bentley SUV. Here's a Maserati. MC20. That is pretty cool. Not sure if anybody likes Maserati, but that's pretty cool. And I do like this too. A Modena. Hopefully I said that right. It's a nice vehicle too. What else do we have here? What is this? Another Maserati. Grancole, um, I probably did not pronounce that right. Uh, Modena, it's another Modena. I guess the Grancole is probably a trim package or something. It'd be my guess. Right. Another Rolls Royce. That's pretty cool. 
I don't know about this yellow stripe. Got a yellow stripe, yellow across the dash. So this one is a colon, black badge colon. So I'm back. Not sure about the yellow stripes and stuff, but um, I was telling them that I don't know the names of these cars because the cards are all on the outside because people don't get to come in here, so they have to read the cars to see what they are. So I was walking around the back, and I have no idea what anything is. Oh. <laughs> and a lot of them don't have names on them. So. Here's a Bentley. Our son got to take a Bentley to prom one year, and so we had a car in our garage that cost more than our house, and so that was a yeah. little bit terrifying. <laughs> and that's what I told him. I said, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're good. Um, I told him that we had a Bentley GT Continental and that I drove one, and it was it was nice. It was it was nice, but oh, I don't know if it's worth the got money. This has got red everything inside that um, Aston Martin does. Yeah. Wow. This one's pretty cool. I know. I really like this. Is this your next next SUV? Yeah. My word. Almost can't get back far enough to get the whole thing in it. It's pretty nice. McLaren. Well, at least you guys get to come see all this without having to buy tickets or pay $38 for parking. <laughs> <laughs> then, we did, then we didn't even have any open chargers. Uh, oh, look at the color of this. My gosh. Oh, that is a purple. Yeah, it's really You can see it in the camera, black. but you can't. It's, it looks black <laughs> yeah. in, in real life. That's yeah. cool. go look around this one real quick and then we'll head on just want to get around to the front of this and actually so let me see if I can see this oh this is a Lamborghini Countach uh, yeah Apparently, this is a Lamborghini Countach, and it says that the MSRP is $2.8 million. No problem. No problem. We're, yeah, no problem. We have so sure. many subscribers. We can do it. All right, where should we go? All right, Chevy. Guys. Um, don't have to have anything on, sh oh, the Chevy Corvette E-Ray. Let's see if we can find the Corvette E-Ray. The Blazer. Did you get anything for the Blazer? Or I should have uh, Yeah, that. the Blazer's on there. Got the Blazer. Chevy 2500 HD. A big dump truck back there. Here is, I, I think this is the new Colorado. Yeah. Colorado, they came with a new body style for it. You want to go check it out and I'll uh, hang on to the camera for you? So, Alright. This is a Z71. I can take the back. Sure. All right, we're gonna swap here. What? Which which arm? Just here. Give me a camera. They're looking at you. Oh, sorry. Get yourself. She's situating. And sorry. Now she's gonna carry the luggage again for a little while. I carry the luggage. And your water bottle. All right. So the Colorados, they are a really nice size. I like the. I like the size of them. I think I like it a little bit better than the Ford Rangers, even though I kind of like Ford better normally. I, but I, like I really these, yeah. do like this. Um, and which one is which trim package was this one? Did it say? Oh, this is a Z71. So it's it's pretty loaded. Let's 
nice, looks really nice. Um, it's also got the turbine vents, the same thing that they're using in the Blazer and the Corvettes. Pretty cool. And they have a, they, they don't necessarily have a continuous, continuous screen, but sort of. Yeah, they're like side by side. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna hop, sit in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. I, I do like the... Yeah, he likes that one. <laughs> I like the size of this. This is yeah. really good. Yeah, it's really nice. Good job, yeah, he Chevy. Said, this guy said it, looks, it fits you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, like this. This is a nice size. Um, yeah, yeah, I, cool. I, I, had, I, I like the styling of it better than Yeah, the, I had an F-150 and I it was fine. I liked, I liked it. I loved my truck, but it also Sometimes seemed like it was nice. a little too big. Right. I just didn't need yeah. it, something that big. Yeah. And I like the smaller trucks. Um, so this is nice. This is really yeah, good. Yeah, that I one's like not like tiny. It's a, it's no. a good mid. And mid then size. you've got this car right over here is so the trail box. So this one is, um, I think the suspension might be a little bit better. Yeah. A little bit higher, but basically the same thing. Uh, I like the wheels on this one. I'd like to take those wheels and put it on that truck instead. Oh my. That's a big truck. What are we looking for here? What is, what is this, a 3500 or something? Uh, it is a high country Duramax. Oh gosh. Probably 2500. Um, a diesel? Y'all, we just saw uh, diesel prices are like $4. Was it four, almost $4 we saw on the diesel prices? Today? The what? Was it almost four dollars on the diesel prices we saw today? Uh, it was over four. Was it over? It was like four fifty a gallon. Yeah. Um, this one is a Silverado. It's a Silverado. Yeah, twenty five hundred each HD, high country. That's awesome. Duramax. Pretty awesome. Here's a Z seventy one. It hasn't really changed too much. I don't love no. the style of those. I wish they'd. So kind of so Chevy always does a good job with their grills on all of their in the front fascia of most of their vehicles, but then the rest of it just seems like it's just plain like all the just, way to the yeah, back. It's I like agree, they I agree. got the front and said the they front's like, what everybody else sees, and yeah. you're inside the car, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so. I always, the fronts have been nice, but the rest of the body, just like they didn't have I any really type like of styling. I feel like I used to like them, but I don't know. Okay, what do we got coming up here? It looks like it's the E-Ray. There's a Tahoe, Suburban. The E-Ray. Oh, look at that E-Ray. It's like a, actually you can tell through the camera almost what color it is just right. It reminds me of like the 50s diner, really pale um, blue, blue green color. All right. It's beautiful. Let's walk around to the other side. You guys can see this. So, the, this Chevy Corvette E Ray is an all wheel drive hybrid. Price starting out with a in a coupe is a hundred and four thousand, and this convertible here would be about a hundred and eleven thousand, um, plus any other options that you would want on it. It has a six point two liter LT two V eight with a one point nine kilowatt hour battery. the The engine, just the engine, is four hundred and ninety five horsepower and four hundred seventy foot pounds of torque. You add in the electric drive motor and you get another 160 horsepower and 125 foot pounds of torque for a combination of 655 horsepower, 595 foot pounds of torque, zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It's like we got to cap that at some point. These but, fast yeah, but the downfall to this is it will only do electric mode for four miles and they call it stealth mode. It's so you can get away from your house before you rev your engine and take off. 
And, but listen to this, miles per gallon in the city is 16, 24 on the highway, 19 combined. Wow. Awesome. Is this? This is a 70th anniversary. That's what it looks like, it says. Got a 70 on the side. 19, yep, 1953 to, to 2023. Wow. That's great. All right. Here's a... This is a 2023 Corvette Z06. I don't think you want to know what the MSRP on this thing is. Those are carbon fiber wheels. The wheels alone, so wheels alone are probably $6,000 a piece. So if I could find it, uh, this vehicle, as it sits, is a hundred and sixty-eight thousand four hundred and fifty-five dollars. Hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. The atlases. I think you guys probably already heard us, but I just saw it pop up. Oh yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to get over here tomorrow for the um, yeah. looks like an atlas reveal. Okay. Now, last year they already had the Silverado here, but there's the electric Silverado. Um, and is that out on the market now? Um, not yet. Yeah. Um, I think it's later this year they're supposed to start producing them. Um, but only in this RST version. The work truck is coming later, but the work truck is only for... Can you put this in my bag or something? Work truck is actually only for um, commercial use. It is not, it is not for um, regular consumers. So the, the interesting thing about this is it looks like it reminds you of the avalanche. Yes. It looks like the avalanche. Um, for sure. And the reason for that is, is that it does have a mid gate that comes down. So look at all yeah. that bed space. You've also yeah. got the step up. Um, tailgate and you can flip that you can lift that tailgate up and leave that part sticking up and it's actually a barrier so a piece of parts can't slide yes. out yes yeah that bottom little yeah. step uh there yeah but yeah so they put the the sides on these vehicles with the mid gates to kind of help with the weather look at the screen and wind and stuff when you're you see the screen on the mirror no no the the main screen look how big that thing is you can see it read it all the way back here yeah the infotainment screen, that's crazy. That thing is massive. Uh, it's the same in the GMC Denali. Here's the um, Equinox. Yes. Which is, uh, is anybody Chevy's all electric. Um, yep, I don't know. Did I get any info on SUV. that? SUV, it looks like they start out at 30. Yeah, they're going to start out around 30. Available range of up to 300 miles on a full charge. 17 inch okay. screen. Yep. I got some more info. Jim's so, got some more info on that. So, there's uh, three trim levels. You got one LT, which is going to be 250 miles with front wheel drive. You got a two LT, will be 300 miles with front wheel drive. And there is a two RS, will give you 300 miles with front wheel drive. Now, you will have available Super Cruise and Super yeah. Cruise and no. got available Super Cruise and can charge from get 70 miles in about 10 minutes. Uh, so, your battery only has 15%. So what do you want to catch? We got a 290 horsepower, all wheel drive, zero to 60 in six seconds. So. 
we have the blazer left at least before we lose battery power here. Yeah, we'll get over there as soon as we can. They're recording over there. Just have a look at what's going on over here. So this is a... These are all EVs it looks like. Yes, Bolt. this is... Yep, this is the Bolt and the Bolt EUV. This is the Bolt. I always wondered about these, about how the actual size was. We'll let Jim stand up next to that guy. And it's actually a decent size. It looks like a yeah. tiny car, but it's not. And then the EUV is supposed to be bigger. I don't know if that is, is that an EUV? It looks the same. Yeah, this is the Bolt. And this is the Bolt EUV. All right. And yeah, they're a little different. See, that one's more sloped like uh, a yeah, hatchback. A this is a little, a little bit little taller. Bit room behind the back, more room behind the back seat there, maybe. Yeah. So the great thing with these is they're really economically priced. And then yeah. by the time you get um, your tax credits, you know, depending on what you can get, you're looking okay. at a really you, affordable electric yeah. vehicle. And depending on your state rebates, also you could end up with buying this brand new rebates uh -huh. and it maybe if you have a trade-in or something like that you could end up with a twenty thousand dollar electric vehicle right that'll go 247 miles right so that's pretty good 200 yeah 247 that's awesome if you remember like the nissan leaf you know the there was a small car like this yeah and when it first came out it had like 63 range i think or something like that yeah 60 to 80 oh yeah the fronts are much different on yeah. them as well so there's the EUV. And yeah, and the other way you can tell EUV. is like right here, the the bolt the bolt doesn't have a logo thing, but the bolt EUV does. Right, right behind the yep. light. Pretty cool. So okay. now we're coming up on you one of. I will here in just a minute. We're actually live. We're almost on, out of battery too. Yeah, my battery's dying. So we'll check it out here in just a minute. Here comes um, my favorite. Okay, favorite. so I am going to give Felicia let no, her no, walk around okay. and talk about it. No, you don't want to talk about it. I I I didn't uh, do my due diligence. Okay, as I hoped on this. So we have a reservation for this. I don't know if we're actually going to get it, but we do have a reservation, and this is the SS version. Now, the SS version is zero to sixty in under four seconds. It also has 557 horsepower. 557. 557 horsepower. Wow. And so what we're looking at here is you have four trim levels. You have LT, which will get you 247 miles. And it's 247 miles. I gotta stay close to you or it cuts out. Oh. Um, so you got LT with 247 miles, but you can keep walking. And 2LT with 293 miles in the front wheel drive. If you get the RS, you can get up to 320 miles with rear wheel drive. The SS is all wheel drive, comes only in all wheel drive, gets you 290 miles. Now the RS version is available with front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive, which is unheard of on any vehicle. I actually, if we end up um, going through our, the reservation process, <clears throat> I mean, we do have a reservation, but the ordering process, I guess. I I actually like this red interior. I don't know if I'm having a midlife crisis or what, but <laughs> I, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Um, I really like the body shape and everything. It does yeah, look really good. The tail good. lights are really cool. I like the shape of them and how they wrap around the side. Uh, I can't quite get around to the back right now, but there's the back. This thing has great stance. Mm -hmm. I it really does. think it's sharp. I think it, um, I think honestly, like the size and shape are, uh, yeah, it's, you know, they kind of line, line up with the Mach E. I mean, the size of it, the size and bulk is, is similar to the Mach E, but the height and the angle of the roof line and everything like that is not the same as Maki. I'm just saying the stance. The yeah. stance and the width and It's like ocean it. size. Um, but yes, it is probably about the Fisker ocean size. It's like ocean size, but you know, this one you can get everything you want for... Um, this one, okay, so... <laughs> you not want this? No, 
I'm just... L LT, the LT version, uh, base model, it starts out at 45. The 2LT starts out at 47.5. The RS will start at 52. And this SS version right here, it will run you 66,000 to, to start. There's a few options probably that could be added onto it, um, but might push it up a little bit. But when we priced out our mid-spec Fisker Ocean Ultra, we came up to about $66,000 when it started out at 52. So if we were going to go one way or the other, it'd be a tight decision on which one we wanted to get. Um, this one though does come with, um, the SS version is their top of line, comes with everything, including Super Cruise, which is hands-free driving. So that's all we've got to say about that. It's just, it's an awesome looking vehicle. Have we hit it. everything for this live walkthrough, Jim? I think that we are going to wrap it up, guys. Right. And maybe we will try something again tomorrow. Um, <laughs> see if I can hold it out here a little bit better. And so, guys, thank you for joining us for this live stream. And we will maybe come to you tomorrow. Yeah, and we're going to pick up some more uh, in-depth footage for yeah. future videos. Yep. But we just wanted you to walk around with us and have a good time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, see you guys later. See ya. Bye. Oh my God, we didn't get like anything done. It's 2.30. We have to go 